Vessel by Gabrielle. A game about starting with no knowledge. You are the last survivor of a terrible crash happened way below the surface of the planet where your company was drilling for ore. Now you are alone, oxygen running low, you need to get to the surface fast. Luckily for you, one of the old decommissioned probe vessels is still workable. If you learn to pilot it, you may have a chance of getting out alive. Oh, I've heard of games like this. Um, uh, he does errant signal. He's been doing a small series called Blips. He had one recently about a game that sounds a lot like this. Well, this is claustrophobic. So I can click on this. Uh, here's a thingy. I can totally see one of these eventually opening this up. Oh! Oh, we got some lights. does seem to be steering. Oh, that's a visualization, isn't it? Yeah, this is definitely like that Blitz episode, except... I have no idea how long it's going to take for me to get to the point where I was like, yeah, yeah, I can operate this. Man, that is an annoying sound. What does that sound mean? I'm, I'm desperately looking around for another control panel or something that popped out. It looks, I think it looks kind of like I know what I'm doing. I don't have a clue. I get a feeling it's been more than 10 minutes. Oh, it's been 14 minutes almost, so. Uh, I'm going to call it quits on that. Overall, innovative, I'm going to give it a full five. Fun, two and a half. Theme, five. Four and a half. I'm going to give it four and a half. Because starting with no knowledge is definitely an interest. I'm going to go with five. I'm going to go with five. I like the idea of this sort of game, where you're piloting something by using the controls in the vehicle. So the you're not abstracting the controls of your vehicle to the keyboard and mouse. You instead have a very simple set of controls that you use to control all these more complex controls that control your your vehicle. Graphics is definitely pretty low. One and a half. It's readable. Mood. I'm going to give it a nice good four. Overall, I'm going to give this a four. Three and a half. I'm going to give it a three and a half. This is something I probably want to revisit later on my own time. Try to figure this out. I want to play this one again.
I'm going to bump it up to four because of that. I want to play this again. 45 version 0.0.1 .0 working title. It's pretty self-explanatory. Hope you all enjoy as much as I did making it. My original idea for starting with nothing wasn't too hot. So I reworked my idea. Every input does two things to fit the category. So he had a different idea. He had an idea for a different category and he reworked it. So you can do it. HTML5. First time using UIs, so scaling is hella whack. <laughs> Left, right, WAD, or WAD, WS, jump. So it looks like platformer controls. Uh, what? Oh, it's another clicker. Why are there so many clicker games? Or is it just that nobody wanted to rate the clicker games? So they ended up in this list. So now I can play like this. Or I could keep doing this. Maybe do both. Hey, that wasn't a fair location. And you're playing a bunch of games at once. So let's unlock the next one. The timing on this actually makes this relatively easy. Let's go for 300. Oh no. Oh, geez. I get 10 for this one. Oh, uh, getting the coin on the bottom one is actually very hard. I got 33, 73. So I get quite a bit more playing the bottom one than I do the top one. So I should probably focus my efforts on the top right and bottom left. And now we're at 500. Oh Jesus, oh Christ. I can't handle this. My brain is exploding. Problem is, there's no, there doesn't feel like any end goal. There's no, forget end goal, there doesn't seem to be any goal now that I've unlocked the last of the little mini games. And I don't see any reason to keep going. So we're gonna we're gonna quit this one. Fun. I'm gonna give it a two and a half. I see where the appeal is. No, I'm gonna go down to two. But I did not enjoy it. Innovative. I'll give it a three and a half. I've seen things before where it's like, okay, here's a bunch of different games you're trying to play all at once. This one allowed me to completely ignore the other ones. There was no punishment, but at the same time, there wasn't really a goal once you unlocked all four games. Theme. Yeah, it fit the theme all right. So... How would I reduce it even further? Maybe not have the prices there immediately. I'm trying to say what would make it a five in my head? What would make this a five? And I'm not coming up with anything. So I'm thinking I just don't want to give out a five, so let's let's give it a five. Graphics. That's pretty low. It's not about graphics. I can understand that, but humor's gonna be low. It's not a humorous game. It's not I hate to give it a low amount. 
because it's not trying to be funny. But at the same time, it doesn't have humor. It's not trying to be funny. Mood. Two. Drop to the top. It's a two-player game. Make the highest stack of figures. You have two minutes to make the highest stack. So I'm going to play... Three, two, one, go! I'm, I'm playing on the right-hand side. So you've got some minor control as it falls. But for the most part, you're just saying, okay, yeah, drop it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap the drop button on the left hand side. I'm gonna try and build up something on the right. See if sheer numbers how it does the uh, attempt to actually make something. It should theoretically, but it's hard to tell. It's a bit hard on my eyes. Actually, because it's got the reflection in the background, I feel like I'm seeing double. It looks like it's best to not wait for an object to go to where you want it. Just immediately say drop it, and then, since I'm basically just building up on the right hand side for the right, just drop it and throw it on the right. You sometimes end up with that. That is weird. Do I try it again? No, no, I don't. So nice and fast. It, it was. This should should be fairly quick. Fun. I mean, I didn't play it properly. I played it by myself. It's supposed to be a two-player game. But because you're not interacting, I don't see this being a good back and forth party game. Innovative? No, not really. I've seen things like it before. Theme? I mean, yeah, you start with nothing, but you're not building up a whole lot. You're throwing objects in a pile. Which doesn't feel like it fits the theme to me. Graphics? I'm going to go with a three and a half. I like the colors. I like that it's 3D. Things look good except for the reflective background that throws off my vision a little bit. Audio. Music somewhat repetitive. But you know what? I think the audio is probably the best part about the game. Mood. Three. I don't know what I'm doing with mood. Overall, I'm going to give this a two and a half.